Hey, what is up guys? Today is a super, super exciting day. This is the day that you all have been waiting for. I got the zero back from the welder. I'm um, sorry it took so long for me to post this video, but I was moving into my new house. As you can see the Beamer over there, uh, she's all nestled into our new spot. But guys, let's look at this zero. The welder did an excellent job and he was able to freaking get the frame to where it's stable and it's able to withstand the forces of riding and the mount and the huge weight of the batteries so let me do a quick overview of what i have so far and what we can expect as i show you what i have and i put this bad boy back together and we do our first ride of the zero ds so jump right into it as you can kind of see in there it's a little bit a little bit dark due to the lighting in here but the first weld was right there um, it's a really tight spot so he had to make sure that he got a good bead in there and was able to get the material sealed up not the prettiest weld but he was able to guarantee that it was a solid weld so that's all i was concerned with and with the frame being pushed back slightly um, we didn't want to pull it out because to further weaken the metal but we instead stabilized it by placing another weld right here if you remember that other spot that was broken he got a really good weld there it's already he also painted it for me, that's why you kind of can't see it, but he was able to fuse that metal back together, which I'm super excited. The frame has zero flex. Um, when I put my weight on it and when I put this super heavy battery, the 7.2 kilowatt hour battery back in the frame, it barely squatted I mean, any, there was no movement in the frame. I put this body panel back on here also. Um, in case you guys are wondering, this is the guts of a zero. Um, a lot of these parts here, that's the ABS module there. I'm gonna have to figure out Cause that's supposed to go all the way up in there guys and it's kind of protruding a little bit because the frame when it had the impact it pushed all this back slightly so now we have to figure out a way to get that all the way back in there but that's the abs module and in this whole space goes this three kilowatt fast charger um i took it out the bike just so i can explain uh, how each component works As you can see this super thick cable here goes to the j17 connector which connects to all of your standard ev plugs you got your high voltage lines here coming from the battery which is right down in there I had it connected and don't mind the zip ties here I'm just kind of still fabricating some things because some of the mounts were broken on the frame uh, as you can see here I kind of fabricated a little bit it's a little bit janky but it's kind of in the mock-up stage that was just to where I can get the battery inside of the frame because most of those tabs were broken but it's a super solid hold I'm just uh, you know mocking things up and I was also able to get my brake set up as you can see I have now have wheel clearance guys it doesn't seem like a lot but that's more than enough to ride with because the shocks goes up and down not backwards and forwards so that is able to be ridden like that which is excellent Let's see what else I want to show you guys um, back here in case you haven't ever seen it up on this panel here get it open here is your controller uh, looks I believe it's a Sevcon Gen 4 and it does about 300 amps is the uh, the running potential so that's very powerful controller and I know the the battery voltage is over 100 volts so it's making some good power um, and the the motor is the 75 7 motor As you can see here it's rated for 34,000 watts or 34 kilowatts of power very very good uh, can't wait to really get in here and just ride it guys but yeah the welder was able to really do a good job so i'm going to go ahead and start putting this back together and let you guys see how it looks This is the final product. I still have a few more pieces that I'm going to need to uh, look into getting a fix as far as aesthetically. But overall guys, the project went very well. It was a huge success and I stayed well under budget. The total cost for the entire build plus we rebuild plus welding and parts was just at right at around five grand for this bike. And this bike fully spec from zero uh, is $13,000. Uh, I looked it up with the fast charger um, so I pretty much got this bike for less than half of what it's worth and it's still an overall awesome awesome motorcycle and it's a pleasure to ride um, I'm gonna have that riding footage here for you right now I'm gonna do the first official ride for the channel but guys this bike is absolutely amazing it's worth every penny so if you think 
that uh, this may be too intimidating for you, I want you to use this video series as a reference that you can absolutely make this happen because with the right tools and enough tenacity, guys, you can do anything. So uh, enough of this talking, guys. Let's go ahead and get some riding footage going of the Zero motorcycle. were disengaged so that almost was ugly but we saved it thanks to ABS as you can see there are no air messages no trouble codes and we at 99% I charged it up last night onboard charger also works really well let's go for a ride guys Two kilowatts and it tops out at 102 miles an hour absolute beast it's a absolute astounding having a way to get around the city it cost me zero in gas zero DS so guys if you like this kind of content please don't forget to like and subscribe in Volk Pro this is my 2018 zero DS there's a lot more content coming so let me know what you want to see and if you have any questions on how I got this bike what I did to it how I did it Please refer to my other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what else you want to see. Invoke Pro out.